Border encounters were expected to climb in May with the end of Title 42, a pandemic era policy that immediately turned migrants away. They dropped instead, and now those numbers are on the rise again. But a Senate hearing Wednesday came up with a few answers for the changes, as Alexandria Cullen reports from our Washington bureau. Immigration has gone digital, but as border officials told a Senate panel, the CBP-1 app that was supposed to smooth border processing is not without its flaws. Since January, migrants have been able to use the app to schedule appointments at U.S. ports of entry. It was supposed to ease processing, but it's been hampered by a number of issues. Are that they either didn't have access to the phone, they, they, they may say that they were unaware of the process, or as you pointed out, they will say that there were issues with the language availability in, in the app itself. So, Chris Ramon, senior advisor on immigration for Unidos U.S., says many people seeking asylum speak indigenous languages that are not available on the app. A number of individuals who are coming to the United States, you know, a majority of them are coming from Latin America, um, but, you know, not everybody speaks Spanish or Haitian Creole. That doesn't mean it's not being used. 170,000 people have used the app since January when it could book 1,000 appointments a day. That number was expanded to 1,450 a day in June, and that still may not be enough. Though there are more appointments, there's still, for some migrants, difficulties um, in accessing the appointments because of technology differences, because of service reliability, and because of demand. All four Homeland Security agencies at the hearing agreed that there are problems with the app, but senators were frustrated that the agencies do not appear to be talking to each other on the problems. We asked questions about process that are, how is this working, what's happening, how do we get numbers? We're not getting those. And some senators were just plain frustrated. Call it what it is. It's an open border. The CBP-1 app was just one of many border topics that were discussed at the two-hour hearing that left more questions than answers for senators. In Washington, Alexandria Cullen, Cronkite News. Customs and Border Protection says migrant encounters at the southern border fell from a quarter million in December to 144,000 in June and then jumped to 183,000 in July. The Tucson sector saw the most encounters that month with more than 39,000 migrants.